Goldman Sachs making changes today to its conviction buy list. Rahel, back with the details for us on a couple of stocks. Rahel? Hello again, Scott. So, yes, two changes to the list, both in the painting and coating space. So, Goldman is adding Exalta Coating Systems to their conviction buy list and removing Sherwin Williams. So, price target for Exalta jumped six bucks to $32. Now, unlike some of its peers, consensus estimates for Exalta have remained relatively consistent despite momentum for its end markets and the coatings industry. The company, Scott, is also more leveraged to the auto industry, and that outlook does appear to be improving. Scott, this is an area that you and I have talked about a bit this week on the show, as Ford also saw some significant upgrades this week as well. Uh, price target for Sherwin, that remains $750. It's reiterated a buy. So analysts think that Sherwin will continue to outperform, but that much of the positive outlook is already baked into the stock. You can see it's up about 20 percent year to date, 19 percent. Very different stories, very different stock performances. While Exalta is down 16 percent year to date, as I said, Sherwin is up uh, almost 20 percent. And Scott, it hit a new high as recently as September 15th. All right. Rahel, thank you again. Uh, Rahel Solomon joining us there. Doc, Exalta is uh, on our radar because you brought it to us at the beginning of the month on October 1st with unusual activity. Yeah, uh, and luckily, Scott, it was around $23 a share then, and uh, they were buying the 24 calls, which have now gone pretty deep in the money. Uh, so it's been a, a good trade. Um, I've taken off a little over half, Scott, and uh, given that these options expire in just two days, uh, it might not be by the end of the show that I'm taking off the rest, uh, but it, I certainly like the idea that Goldman has embraced this trade. Yeah, stock's up about 1.5%. Jim, Sherwin-Williams, you own that, right? I do own Sherwin-Williams. A little bit of a valuation differential there. So Sherwin-Williams has pulled away on the very obvious reason that they're exposed to the housing market. I mean, that's really what they sell is paint cans at Home Depot and, and uh, Lowe's. So there's a case to be made for Exalta because auto production is really picking up, Scott. First off, you know, North American sales are less than 10 percent below the pre-pandemic high, but then the auto manufacturers are doing a lot of production catch-up from April and May. So I like Exalta, but on Sherwin-Williams, I'm going to stick with this because I do think there's some more juice to be squeezed from this orange.